Ladies and gentlemen of the Action Army, what is going on? And welcome to another episode of Answers for Athletes. In today's video, we have a question from the Hebes 100. The Hebes, I really appreciate you. Very active in the comment section, always asking questions. So I really appreciate that. And all of you who are just watching or listening and never commenting your questions, bro, come on, help me out. I need more questions to answer. <clears throat> so the Hebes 100 says, even though I really liked your answer, he asked this question on a video I posted that the title was, do I need to be fresh for my dunk sessions? He said, even though I really liked your answer, I think there's an additional question to ask. What if it is dunk day, but I am still fairly compromised from my last exercise day? Is the dunk st session still beneficial? Maybe the ideal answer is wait a day, but what if I can't because a game is coming up? So the question essentially is, what if you're still fatigued from your previous workout? Should you do your dunk session? I have a great answer for you. Before I give you that answer, make sure that you comment jump. J-U-M-P down below in the comment section if you want a free bodyweight vertical jump training pr program. That was, I don't know why I glitched out right there. Comment your question down below if you want me to answer your question in a video just like this. Like the channel, subscribe, and get my advanced training programs. The Vertical Jump Secret System is now live. Link in the description and in the pinned comment. So... I could be giving you this answer because I am old. I am old now. 23-year-old Nate with a 43-inch vert would say, keep going, bro. Don't be soft. It doesn't matter if you're fatigued from your last session. Push through. But 23-year-old Nate was actually a bonehead. And his knees hurt really bad. So the 33-year-old Nate, which is me right now speaking to you, I would say... And this is what I do right now. If you feel fatigued from your last workout, and there's a big difference between actual systemic fatigue and just muscle soreness, right? If you have muscle soreness, what I like to do is just do a light ballistic workout um, and just f like it'll help flush out that soreness. So actually doing nothing and just skipping your workout is not the best thing to do. You actually want to go through the motions at a little bit lower intensity, maybe get some, you know, explosive stuff at a lower intensity, uh, maybe some med ball throws, you know, just ballistic activities, and that will help flush out the soreness. But if you have actual systemic fatigue, if your central nervous system is beat up and you go in there and you're like, man, I do not feel bouncy today at all and I have a game coming up, I would just, I would not do a full max effort jump session. I 100% would not. And this could just be me being old and being like, at this point, I need more recovery. However, I just think that's the smart thing to do. If you push through and you do a max effort jump session while you are fatigued, number one, you're probably not going to be jumping as high as you possibly could. And to really force adaptation. We need to really push the limits of what we are doing. And number two is you're just going to be breaking your body down even further. So the whole goal after you do a workout, so the whole goal of a workout in general is to improve, right? Improve your speed, your power, your strength. If it's muscle building, improve the uh, you know, the size of your muscles. The whole goal is to get better, to improve yourself, to improve performance, if that's your goal. So if we do a workout and then before we are done recovering, remember, you don't, you don't, you don't improve during the workout. You are breaking your body down during the workout. And to improve, to get better, to increase performance, you need to allow for recovery up past baseline, past where you were before. So if you work out and then before you get, you know, fully recovered, you just do a jump session and you break your body down even further. Well, that's really, that's really defeating the purpose of the whole goal in the first place. So if I were you long answer, short, long answer, short, short answer, long, long answer, bro, I'm a talk about bonehead. Like I'm still a bonehead at 33. I like, okay, I'm just going to keep going because I was about to yap. Listen, I'm going to let's let's have an intimate con conversation just for 20 seconds. During these videos, there are so many times where I mess up what I was going to say, like I just did. And I restart the entire video. 
And I don't got time for that anymore. So I'm not doing that shit anymore. So you might see any time now that I mess up my words or I say something stupid, I just keep going. Because if not, there would be no answers for Athletes Channel because I don't got time for that shit. Anyways, long story short, I would not do that jump session, especially if you have a game coming up. The, the goal is to perform best for your games, right? We work out, most of us, if you still have a career. That sounded very depressing. If you still are in the middle of your hoop career or your volleyball career or whatever sport you play, the goal of training is to be to, to, to have the highest performance possible in your games. So there's no point in doing that jump session and interrupting the recovery process and probably being less recovered and performing well in your game. So that's my answer. I 100% would not do it. I would only do your jump sessions when you are fresh. And if you're never fresh for your jump sessions, you probably need to tweak how much volume you are doing in the rest of the week of your training. But anyways, that's my answer. Hope it wasn't a terrible waste of your time. Um, Sometimes I feel like when I do mess up my words that I am wasting your time. However, I appreciate you being here with me. Like this video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel. We post every single day at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Leave your question down below if you want me to answer your question in a video just like this. Come and jump for a free vertical jump training program. It's body weight, though, if you want my advanced training programs, the vertical jump secret system, Beyond the Room 2, all the good stuff. Click the link in the description or the pinned comment, and I will take your athleticism to the next level and coach you all the way through it. But I'll see you tomorrow, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Peace.